If God laughs, he must have slapped his knee in 1776 when atheist French philosopher Voltaire said, in 100 years, there will not be a Bible on the face of the earth, except one that is looked on by some antique dealer. Well, 100 years after that prediction, Voltaire's first works were sold in France for 11 cents. The same year, the British government paid the Tsar of Russia a half a million dollars for an ancient Bible manuscript. Voltaire and his prediction have been mostly forgotten, but the Bible is the number one bestseller of all time. In fact, it's even the most shoplifted book ever. But that may have never happened if it hadn't been for a one-note English priest named William Tyndale. What was the one note that William Tyndale was always singing? It's that the Bible should be written in a language that people can actually understand. In 16th century England, it was illegal to read the Bible in English. One did so under the pain of imprisonment. But William Tyndale could speak seven languages. And when he read the Greek New Testament, he understood the doctrine of justification by faith alone, that Jesus is the head of the church, the priesthood of all believers. So he spent almost a decade being chased by authorities who wanted to arrest him. Not everybody was thrilled with William Tyndale. In fact, one theologian challenged him, and William Tyndale said this. If God spares my life, before many years pass, I will make it possible for a boy behind the plow to know more scripture than you do. For his effort to get us the Bible, William Tyndale was hunted all around Europe by Henry VIII himself, no less. He was finally captured and put into a cell just like this, right outside of Brussels, Belgium. It was small and cold, damp, putrid, and rat-infested. And right before winter came, William Tyndale sent a letter to the governor of the prison requesting what was most important to him. Just like Paul in 2 Timothy chapter 4, he requested a coat, a candle, and his Hebrew Bible and Hebrew grammar so he could continue working on translating the Bible into English so that you and I could have one. William Tyndale was burned at the stake in the shadow of this church here in Brussels, Belgium singing his one note because he knew that people were living in sin and on a highway to hell. He also knew that salvation could be found in Jesus alone as revealed in scripture alone. William Tyndale was willing to die so that you and I could live. <laughs>